Today I want to show you three most useful blending modes in Photokey. Multiply, Screen, and Overlay. First, let me briefly explain what is blending mode. When we're blending two layers, the background layer can be considered a space layer, and the upper layer can be considered as the blending layer. When the blending mode is normal, layer 1 completely covers background layer, so we can only see layer 1. When you drag down the blending mode menu, you can see Photo P has six main categories of blending modes. Simply put, the second category will make the image darker, the third category will make the image brighter, and the fourth category will make the dark part darker and the bright part brighter. Let me show you with some examples. Here we have an image that is very flat. That is to say, it doesn't have much contrast. If we choose multiply, the image will become darker. We can think of multiply as putting two films on the projector, so the light won't go through easily. That's why the image looks darker. And if we change the blending mode into screen, the image becomes brighter. Screen is pretty much self-explanatory. It is as if we have more than one computer screen projecting light onto the image, so naturally it will look brighter. And if we change the blending mode into overlay, you can see that the bright part becomes even brighter, and the dark part becomes even darker. And that's the definition of contrast. So by applying overlay, we can quickly fix a flat photo and give it more contrast. Now let me give you another example of how we can apply these three blending modes into our photo editing. Here's an image that looks a little bit washed out. You can tell that the darkest part of the image isn't completely black. This is a kind of style that some people like. But if you want to make it more contrast, you can simply apply overlay. And if you think the effect is too strong, just lower the opacity so that it will look more natural. Or you can use the blending mode right below overlay. This is soft light. Soft light is simply the softer version of overlay. Besides overlay, we can also use multiply to make the dark part darker. But you can see that the entire image has become darker, even the highlight part, and that's not what we want. So we can right click on layer one and click on blending options. Here we have current layer, which is our layer one, and background layer, the, the background layer. And then we can drag it to the left. So now you can see that the highlight part starts to show. But now the edges between the highlight and the dark part is very strong. So we can hit Alt and drag it to different part. So now we create something sort of like a feathering effect. So the edges is are the edges are now not that strong. So it looks more natural. And you can adjust how much highlight you want to show. Click OK. So now you can see that before we have our washed out image and after we use multiply to drag down the dark part, drag our shadow, but we also protect our highlight. We can also use blending mode to create light sources. For example, now 
um, if I want this image to look like as if this guy is looking at a sunset. So now what we can do is create a new layer and simply use our brush tool to paint a sun here. Um, remember to use a very soft brush so that it won't have a very strange edge. So now we can change our blending mode into screen. Remember, screen will make everything brighter. And now we can turn down our opacity and we can also create a hue and saturation layer to adjust our adjust the color of our sunlight here now we can choose whatever color we want maybe i want a uh, kind of a little bit orange sunlight and turn a little turn the saturation a little bit down so now by applying screen plus a little bit of adjustment in hue and saturation we have created a very natural sunset. This is our before and this is our after. So this is today's lesson. We have learned how to use multiply screen and overlay. Combining opacity and blending options, we can make great differences to our image within a few steps. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.